<laughs> picking back up from there after <laughs> having some times for yourselves to do some shopping and enjoy uh, Sugar Mama Fanoa's very willingness to spend as much gold as she possibly could imagine for y'all. Getting a little bit of information on a certain item of Vulmer's interest and possibly a future gathering point. Vivian herself, though, eventually going to take her leave to go search for Alexander, the missing of the trio of Jack's original crew. Y'all decided that instead of just letting her go to Keeley herself, that you would take her using your brand new helm of teleportation. Given that it has three charges in a day, you guys can make a quick trip, help her get established very briefly, and then uh, take off on your own back to Balloonzar, where apparently Jen has been spotted ever so recently for Veril's own uh, magical cancer. But, with everything all being said and done, Volmer casting the teleportation spell and taking all of you with him to the outside of this massively walled off city with reinforcements of metal and guard posts in every single position you could possibly see on it. Being able to notice that there is no opening whatsoever except for one. That seems to be a singular road leading into the town itself that currently at the moment is wide open for you all to very easily walk to. Okay. Before we get totally started, uh, did we agree that we could retcon and get Vivian that tattoo? I believe so. I'm cool with that. Yeah. 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 That's a simple retcon, yeah. Okay. Let me make sure to mark that in her inventory, because I can. I forgot and how that. much is it? Yeah. Uh, 1,500 from her correctly. It's in the chat. What are you? Masquerade's tattoo. There you are. Boop. And that goes into Give her, her a nice little tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. She has two attunement items, and they're both from you guys. Mm hmm. <laughs> Good. But, in either case scenario, standing outside of this massive wall that stands at about 80 feet tall's worth of height, and seeing that whoever was standing at the guard post quite literally could not give less of a shit to actually be looking out for small little peons as you guys. And you can see that there's very occasionally, maybe once a minute, seeing a cart go in and out of the city itself, which is a far shorter value than you've seen for plenty of other towns. Uh, about, uh, Vomer's grandma being hot. <laughs> Vomer the character. Not the yeah. player. <laughs> what were we talking about before Fanoa got here? Oh, uh, uh, are taking his mom to the casino? Yes. Dalmar taking his mom to the casino. Knives. Uh, Ashton's a tree expert. <laughs> She's good with wood. I'm well trained! Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Shut up. <laughs> There's no escaping that. You watched into that one. Oh, and for the bit, I opened a Coke when Ashton asked for water or caffeine, and I soiled my, my Eevee that oh, I got from yeah. Pokemon Center. Oh, yeah, you soiled the Eevee. Oh, yeah, then my blind grandma having throwing knives. Yeah. But yeah, a bunch of stupid shit. <laughs> But yeah, I was standing outside the vast city itself. You can just see that Vivian herself, at the very least, is just looking up at the expansiveness of the walls. Alright. What's next? Volmer? Are they just gonna let us in? Type. Type like Alfango's main it. <laughs> Let yes. Us in. <laughs> the answer is yes. You would know very easily that they, more of the time, do not give a flying fuck who walks into those gates. As long as you don't look like you're about to start some shit, they just let you come on through. Mostly because they have about ten ballista pointing at the entrance. So don't start shit. Look directly at Fanoa. <laughs> <laughs> I no.
All right. As you begin to lead them alongside the wall itself before you get towards the entrance, where instantly you see said 10 ballista just pointed. Currently, at the moment, they are loaded and ready to fire at any single moment or instance, where you see dwarves along the walls, the occasional um, standard height creature, whether it is a human or a tiefling or maybe a tabaxi is hard to tell just due to the amount of armoring that they have coating them from this point of angle up top the wall itself. And walking in, it's... <sighs> for no, no, for no. <laughs> I will slap the living shit out of you if you try to pss, pss, a fucking tabaxi. It would be funny, though. It would be a racist. <laughs> Get it like a little laser pointer? That would be funny. <laughs> Damn, I'm that holding my good. action for Fanoa to pss, pss, and I'm going to backhand her. <laughs> there we go. Unfortunately, your strength is not strong enough to do any damage to Fanoa. As every three and a half seconds, there you can see her lips just, just getting ready for it. <laughs> I do one point of damage if I want to. <laughs> uh, walking into the city, it's an interesting level of not quiet, but seems like calm. While in Luma, you heard this rowdiness but there was still like a sense of safety and everyone being all around just unified to some degree the town feels darker while they still all understand that they're safe there is a sense of they're not safe by choice sort of idea yeah and even walking through the Streets themselves, where you see almost at every single block, there's a patrol, if not two, of guards. Same thing, decked out in almost entirely metal armor. Some of them not as covering as others. Some may just cover the shoulders and the chest plates. Some actually go all the way down the arms and give proper helmeting and whatnot. And you can very easily solve armor. And you do know that uh, it's not often, but there are little corners here and there where there is a uh, uh, a town crier just current, just handing out what seem to be like two or three sheets of paper that are meant to represent a quote unquote newspaper for the times as it is Jack's gonna be looking at like all these soldiers and other people around just seeing if any of them look like Alexander give me a perception check alright go ahead and mark off two silver Volmer and you very easily can. And Jack, while you're trying to look out for all these soldiers, and for the most part, it's easy to spot which ones are the humanoid ones, obviously the height difference being the thing. But for now, it's hard to tell if any of them look like Alexander, mostly because of how just mixed and matched the armoring is. Like I said, some of them have pieces, some of them have full armor, some of them just have simple helmets, some of them have even face guards on top of everything. And I will say, even with a 12 perception check, and with Volmer there to talk to, you can very easily understand that. Basically, the degree of armoring that the guard walks with is their ranking. The more metal, the higher the rank. Or at least, the higher use they have. Rank does not denote <laughs> pride, either. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> the higher the rank is, the more we actually care about whether you live or die. Got it. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> That's so <laughs> fucked. Yeah. But, what is this, Russia? while you're making your way towards the bakery, and Volmer, you're reading into this newspaper, for the most part, it seems like nothing in there is of any consequence, anything special. Just kind of like the usual propaganda of they're always advancing technology. Something else has been developed, or there's a new weapon on the works, and something like that. The only thing of note that you weren't made notified before was uh, your last trip to Balloonsar, when you vanished for, like, one session... Uh, that the big discovery at the docks, or off the docks, is currently at a standstill. While it gives no other information, it just leads with that. And even trying to read in details and trying to think back of the information that you had before, supposedly that teleporter was to help surpass that standstill. As to what's going on now, hard to tell. 
with all that being said and done, walking along and reading your newspaper, eventually you would arrive towards the Old Yard District, wherein you would be able to find the bakery in question. Very humble, very small, doesn't even have a title to it whatsoever, just has a simple uh, mark that shows a freshly baked muffin and nothing more to it. But all the more reason that it's just oh, under the radar. Is Volmer the Muffin Man? <laughs> no, his dad is. His dad's the Muffin Man? <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! <laughs> the Muffin Man! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot win. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. You could have just said a you know, loaf of bread and none of this would have happened. I could have. Oh, yep. really oh, uh, define what road you're on, you mean? You're in the old yard district. Are we on Dreary Lane? Oh, I, 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 okay. Yeah. I, I didn't remember the, the thing enough. Yep. Fucking hell. No, it's actually a rude lane. <laughs> God damn it, Romer. I saw that for half a second. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Sorry. But, walking up to the bakery itself, you do notice that it's got a little bit of customers. Maybe like three people inside as it is. And Vivian would look at you, uh, partially intrigued, Romer, more than anything about, uh... So, what exactly am I going to ask here? Okay, fair enough. Well then, I was gonna say something else, but I probably that's not a smart idea to mention the R word here, is it? Oh. Uh, at a game, rebels. Yeah, <laughs> revolutionaries. <laughs> I thought it was going to be, like, racist. Yeah. That's what I thought at first. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. My brain went through a lot of different R words, and I still didn't get to the right one. <laughs> uh, but she would uh, walk in with you, and you would hear the very gentle chime of a bell with the door opening, and you do instantly get that fresh scent of morning baked pastries and whatnot, and a small little... A uh, row of uh, options that you can pick from, as well as the counterman being a half elven uh, proprietor of sorts. Dude, you can I get want a brownie. Breakfast. Brownie is a uh, four copper pieces. Do you recognize the guy at the counter? Not currently, no. I want a muffin. You can get a muffin. Can I pay for her muffin? <laughs> you can, a four copper. copper pieces because my one copper piece just disappeared uh yes there is a phrase that you would know it is to get a fresh coffee but leave out the hard <laughs> we're all gonna get arrested <laughs> I mean, yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> be a great way to put a uh, Veril's cant on hold. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and you would see that the uh, the man at the front counter would uh, smile at you for a moment. Says, "In a moment." And you do see him kind of enter into the back room for a little bit before he comes out with a. Uh, not a teapot necessarily, but a container that he seems to be semblancely using as a uh, as a coffee holder. 
with a small tray of glasses right next to it as well. And after placing it on the counter in front of y'all, he does kind of point towards the door. He says, in there if you want to enjoy your drinks. Privately, of course. Do mind the floor. That's a bit creaky. But you do notice that he says that, like, directly towards you, Vulmer. Who's going to get it in first? <laughs> Aww. Oh, fun. <laughs> The Vulmer you always leave out the hard. <laughs> but Vivian herself would easily follow you into that room, which is not exactly the biggest room in the world. It's maybe fittable enough for like maybe eight people at absolute best to kind of sit at the centerfold table with our chairs just kind of lined up all around. And you would notice that there are little bits of carpeting that are just not exactly patchwork, but definitely look like there has been some trouble here before and they have just done their best to fix as many patches as possible are we all going who wait hold on no i'm really upset who the fuck bites into cheese sticks volmir no no thank you ash <laughs> see i have mom on my side so you're poisoned. when okay, i will admit this i will admit this I'm with you that stripping it is the proper way. It is. And I don't know what it is about just going, <laughs> just ripping I it, it apart. No. I, I put it this way. Like, when I got the time, I do the ripping. It tastes better. It tastes way better to do that. But if I'm, like, working or something like that, it's just bite. See, that's no. fair. I'll allow that. Because no. that is not because you want to. It's because you have to, to look, to go quickly. I... I mean, that in absolute defense, she's, they're, they're, they're right, Romer. They really are right. Kids yeah. just bites into the cheese sticks. I cannot watch him eat the cheese sticks. <laughs> it bothers me. <laughs> See, this is why you can't actually talk. <laughs> this is why you're resorting to chat, because you can't. You know you're wrong. Uh, but on, on top of that, does everyone follow along, or are yes. you guys just letting Vivian Oh, yeah. Them? Yeah, sorry. Uh, no, I'm gonna follow along. I I don't necessarily want to hang out in this strange bakery by myself. Okay. But sorry, easily enough, you are are able to enter into the room itself and almost overcrowded with seven of you almost filling the room to its absolute brim as it possibly can. Okay, now that's heresy. <laughs> okay, that's fucking heresy. <laughs> Ashton's gone. Ashton's gone. <laughs> Uh, she disowned me. <laughs> that is true heresy, Jack. That one is true I don't want to get chocolate on my fingers. So I just... No, no, I'm fucking disowning you. Okay, see ya. <laughs> Mom and Dad are fighting again. <laughs> but as you guys close the door behind you, and you would eventually hear um, beneath about three of you, just because of how packed into the room you guys are at this point, that the floor does creak beneath you as you walk across. Okay. Just in case, be ready to cast that spell, Volmer. I mean, I don't have any other choice except to trust you, so... Uh, as long as these people are a little more reliable than the, uh last people you were working with that we had to go into a secret back room to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as far as I've heard, you guys have had a really tough time with them. I mean... Uh, and easily enough, Vulmer, where... A couple of the uh, the others stepped on. You kind of like shoot them out of the way, and in one of those patchwork sections of carpeting that clashes with the design, you're able to just peel it off very easily. Where you do see a hatch door just beneath it entirely, that you can just kind of lift off entirely, like a like a plate cover sort of idea. Or you see a tiny little stairwell going about maybe ten or so feet down below.
You don't type very fast, do you? <laughs> and I was like, get on my level, bitch. <laughs> Just leave him. No one cares. As long as we know what you mean. If as, we don't know what you mean, fine. we can make I fun can of you. I can translate. It's okay. <laughs> she speaks, baby. <laughs> Not what? even that, I just speak. <laughs> Make Sorry. your way down below. And... <laughs> Make your way down below, and whoever is the last um, one, you would easily be able to tell them to make sure to place the cover back to where it was. So, before. I'm going to be the last one. I'm also going to go so far as to have Lily move whatever was covering it back mm -hmm. over it and, like, you know, make it look like normal how we first saw it. Yeah. And I'll make her disappear and reappear next to me. Okay, very easily enough. Now, as you go down the stairs itself, and easily there is a just a door just there. Doesn't seem to have any sort of lock or opening mechanism. It just seems to be just a barrier of entry of any kind whatsoever. And as soon as you kind of just go to push it open just gently, you do instantly see that down below is a much more hollowed out room, maybe about 20 feet across, 20 foot wide, just a nice cubicle room with a couple of tables and seats just there with no any actual indication of any sort of design or any really insignia to follow it. We would be able to see that a couple of these tables, there's about maybe half a dozen people just kind of sitting there talking amongst each other at the moment. Uh, one of them in particular seems to have a piece of paper in front of them and seems to be not exactly mapping out something, but seems to be designing a certain aesthetic to some note. Give me a perception check real quick. Uh, everyone for Noah. Wait, what? <laughs> exactly the reaction I was after. 24. It's a little bit hard to notice, and it's only because it's once you notice the, uh, the ears that they have beneath the slight... Not full cover, but kind of like half covering hood of the man that's currently like working on a certain uh, documentation to some way. You can tell that the face is coated with some sort of uh, makeup of some kind. And when you try to like focus more clearly in on that, you pretty sure you recognize that face. And after a couple moments of kind of thinking on that, trying to remember where have you seen that face once before, it was during that night with your father. It's one of the higher-ups in the organization. And you do notice that he's furiously working on something at the desk. Or not desk, the table. Uh, you would. I'm gonna just send it because you're probably gonna not be able to pronounce it anyways. I can rain beam. You thought we weren't gonna be able to pronounce that one? How would you pronounce Hiken? I mean, Hiken. It just yeah, whatever. Compared to your other ones, <laughs> that one's more normal. Fair enough. You know what? Fine, I'll give that. Yeah, Fair like enough. that one's way more normal than most of your fucking character names. Fair enough. It's like Heineken with a couple less letters. God damn it, you. <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> How's your jewelry sliding? The horns become loose. Oh. <laughs> Pressed enter too early. Hello, it's there. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Dump this fucking toe on a table. <laughs> That's better. Hello there, General Kenobi. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> uh, but walking up to him, and you do see him kind of like pause in his scripture. <laughs> General Kenobi. I can't do a grievous. I cannot do a grievous. Uh, you do seem kind of like pause for an instant before he glances up to you 
And you do notice that that he does have a complete disguise on, at least makeup wise, to try and cover up who he is as best as possible. Not the greatest makeup in the world, but good enough to at least bypass instant recognition. And after a brief moment, you do see him almost kind of like lock onto your features and recognize you. And he goes, Well, but ain't the young lad. How long has it been? 150, 200? <laughs> I mean, he is now up close and personal. You can tell that he is a full elf. He has that prettiness to him. He's just ah, using so makeup to cover pretty. it up. So they're yes. all pretty. I mean, elves are just. El elves are definitely pretty. Are, yeah. Even even the ugliest elf is a seven out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been traveling? I take it these are your friends? Ah, uh, yes. And you brought them down to help? I assume you're here for a specific reason. We <laughs> <laughs> were just like, yep. Nodding silently <laughs> and awkwardly. <laughs> I love playing that on my trumpet. <laughs> you do see him kind of... That, um forward excitement that he has in the moment kind of dwindle slightly at that instant and he kind of leans back in the chair rather than sitting up forward that he was before ah i see if you need help tracking we can do what we can our forces are spread pretty thin right now i don't think you've heard Raid. Caught us off-handed. Well, caught a bunch of us off-handed. We lost about a lot of our numbers. At the very least, we know they're not dead. Well, the ones who didn't fight back. Uh, he said that there was a raid. That a bunch of them were captured. He can at least confirm that they're not dead. <laughs> what? Please don't kill his dad before we confirm whether or not. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly where you're going with that too. <laughs> and places, we got a castle ward for the bigger names. Three of them. And the rest of them are probably being held at the same old jail as always. Gotta hope they last in there. Uh, you would know that it is a high-level security area, but that's also because these guys are all about high-level security. And at the very least, you would know that at the very least, before you departed from the direct connection with the organization, you do know that they did have a voice on the inside, and you imagine that's why he's saying that we know for sure they're at least still alive. They probably still have that voice in there. So it's a matter of them surviving whatever torture or lack of nutrition that they are being fed in there.
Spino will finally get the prison break. Yeah. Easily enough, we can put back up comms. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that and roll the dice for that. I believe it's a D8. Double checking. It is a D8. Four hours. And are you including hiking in there or no? No. Okay. So, group comms are up between all of y'all to speak. So, Vollmer, speak. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, you're doing so good. Just take your bath <laughs> take your laptop to the bathroom and go, you know. <laughs> Don't ask them what they're just doing. Hang with out you in the bathtub. <laughs> All fun and games till someone comes in and takes a shit. That's why you lock the door. Yeah, do you not lock the door and like oh, there's only one bathroom. That, that that's that sucks. the uh That's pretty shitty. Uh, <laughs> 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 I had to. <laughs> That's not funny. Why am I laughing? Because it's so bad. It's funny. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> um. <sighs> You're talking about a prison break from a heavily fortified. Citadel Fortress. I don't know how qualified we are for that, Volmer. I mean, we've done weirder, probably more difficult things. So many <laughs> dragons. I don't uh, think we I can know, actually die. I know y'all are suicidal, but... Is this really something you need to take on your own? You had, like, this rebel group out here. I'm going to turn to hike and the places that these people are being held, do they have any warding or protection from magic users? We're talking about the dwarves here who have plenty of arcanists under their thumb. I'd be amazed if they don't have at least ten covering every person. So, getting in there and teleporting out isn't a viable thing. If you've got a caster strong enough to deal with that, possibly. But you're not going to go in there just all throwing hammers and fists. You have someone on the inside? Presumably. We got a voice. No name, obviously. Safety and whatnot. That's what I'm working on right now. He's Dave. Sent us plenty of letters trying to piece together the layouts and whatnot. Can they find out what type of warding they have in the area. I can try and send them a message. It's a pickup, though. It's not like we have direct contact or anything. Yeah. This will take time. We're working on it. We all knew what we signed up for. We all know the risks. You just seem kind of like get a little more somber in that instance, and uh, not to say our Smith went up. I would say in smokes, but he's alive, so he's being held at the castle. Then we've got our more primary spy. I imagine he was tailed. I imagine that's how they found us in the first place. And then we have one of the new up-and-comers. Only recently got the title about a month back. Which is what worries us, he's the tail. But 
Seems like an honest kid. Or so we hope. overcomes I don't want to go rushing in there I mean you see how fortified the walls are of this place let alone the castle itself plus if this new guy just joined in less than a month that means they haven't been in there for more than at least oh, like three weeks that was overcomes oh that's Vivian oh that's Vivian sorry yeah, okay Vivian. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean unless we have a good escape plan Hence, I'm pissing off a whole fucking country at this point in time. No way. Then again, that's that's rebellion over there's plan, anyways. I mean, we intended to help, but I don't think we're anywhere near ready. Pick your battles. And I don't think this is one that, uh, is ready to be fought, you know? No no offense, Palmer. I'm sure these are good people, but... The man's right. Y'all signed up for this. And we can't help later if we're dead now. Question for DM on Volmer's behalf. Mm -hmm. Has Volmer ever been inside that castle before? No. Never. Okay. I don't say. Hey, there's the Dalmar. Yeah. Back from the casino <laughs> so soon? Yep. <laughs> Are you aware, Sean? Um. Oh, no, I was just dropping my mom off. He wanted to go to the casino and chose three minutes before game to tell me. So yeah, they told me. <laughs> and you know, at the at, at the moment, I'm living in mom's house full time, taking care of her. So when she wants she... to go somewhere, you take her. Yeah, it's yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. 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 Mm -hmm. She's paying the bills, so if she wants to go to the casino right away, mom. <laughs> but uh, to catch you up to real quickly, y'all at the uh, bakery in question, you're in an underground location and currently talking to one of the higher ups in the rebellion who has notified Volmer that there apparently was a raid and a lot of their members were captured and that at the very least right now he is formulating a plan to break them out of jail, but it hasn't been that long since they were captured and he's just hoping they can hold out. Yeah, and Volmer wants us to... How much bank. would Dalmar... So Delmar um, hasn't forgotten about this whole thing, since in Delmar's mind, going, um, this is Delmar's next big challenge, mm -hmm. right? So he wants to help as best as he can, and this is where the the character knows more than the player, uh -huh. and he's going to give any tidbits from being a guard or. In anything that he knows that could possibly help, he's going to. And you do also have comms up, by the way. Cool. Okay. And you would see that the man is thankfully taking note. Uh, his name is Hyken, by the way. And he is at least listening to you thoroughly and at least like putting in his own two cents as well for what he does know. As they do have a man on the inside of the jail... They just have no way to direct contact. It's all like cryptic notes and whatnot. Right. And yeah, while uh, Volmer does actively want to help with the prison break, everyone's kind of like, this might not be the time to do so. Hmm. I'm trying to formulate a plan in my own head here. <laughs> Dalmar is... 50-50 split on the issue. He's like, you are correct. This is not the time. Let's go. 
Okay. And that doesn't make sense to him either, but that's okay. Ashrin <laughs> Delmar isn't oh. sure. Like, on the one hand, she wants to help Volmer and she wants to help her friend. But on the other hand, she also doesn't want to piss off an entire country and die. <laughs> I'm well, very much that. torn. I feel like we're gonna piss off an entire country at some point. I mean, <laughs> yes. But we can piss them off later when we're less likely to die. Yeah, and then Jack's sitting here going, Well, we've already pissed off one country. Granted, they don't know it's us. So what's That's another? We? We have already pissed off one country. Yeah, we. You're stuck with me, bitch. <laughs> He's not wrong. I mean, you're taking care of me right now. Fuck. You paid for my tramp stamp. <laughs> Pretty sure Fanoa paid for your tramp stamp. I did, yeah. Do you like your tramp stamp? Oh, shit. Did she? Fan did Fanoa pay? No, Fanoa didn't pay for my tattoo. I no, did. she didn't. No, yours, yours no she didn't. Well, Fanoa thinks she did because Dalmar offered to put the money in. Dalmar failed that give it back. and slipped she it back to your account. She doesn't know that it's no. back. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> you both got your way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, well, murder is a country that deserves to be pissed off, but yeah. it's also a powerful military country that uh, I don't know if I want to piss off at us. At the moment, at level 10. At level 10. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna look to hike and what type of plan do you have you guys been working on already to get them out? At the moment it's a gamble. Send in our best fighters, our best arcanists who don't need that many components. Get them captured on the inside. They're well prepared. Hopefully our inside man can help them out on getting a little bit of gear in there. Hopefully break out in the middle of the night. Gone with the wind. So... I think if we want to help them inside, our best bet would be to get Volmer inside. Quietly. And him teleport them out. That is our best bet, but that's How many people can Volmer teleport out? Seven. That's him and seven other people within ten feet, roughly. But we need to know if there's any arcane wards blocking teleportation or anything like that in the jail cells, or in the castle, anything. And also, we need to know how guarded those jail cells are. Now, I don't know this for sure, but if I had a prison and I was keeping people who were either casters or had friends who were casters, I'd definitely ward that shit against teleportation. Yeah. Just, just saying. They also have... Um, Let me ask the DM this question before I say it, because uh, I don't know <laughs> if you have it in the world. Do you have uh, manacles with uh, um, anti-magic on them? Yes. Okay. So yes, they have uh, manacles that have anti-magic built into them, so casters cannot cast when they are imprisoned. So if they're just using that, then it's usually easier, I guess, to have those. So it depends on how lazy they are. But Volmer, if you were to get like captured and put in there, they would take all of your gear, including the helmet. So what I was thinking is if we could sneak him in there, like if there's any hidden passages inside the castle, you know, maybe through some of the servants' quarters or stuff like that, usually those are unguarded. And if he looks like just another servant, then wouldn't be much of a Be issue. aware, the higher ups are being kept in Castle Ward. The others, which are like the lower peons, are kept in a different jail altogether. 
And are yeah. we trying to rescue the regular people or the higher up people? I part of me w would say so that other jail and I guess this will be to Hyken and, and Volmer is it part of the castle itself or somewhere else in the city no it's completely separate it's in the south district how many higher ups have been captured and how many regular members three and asking him on how many are actually there there is 18 currently captured Normal personnel. They caught us with our pants down. <clears throat> Someone had to p tip them off at the meeting. Or they tailed our spy. How guarded is the other Joe? <laughs> On par. If not worse, because that's all other criminals. Castle District's their personal pick. South District is anybody else they don't give a damn about. Yeah. I don't know. Like, personally, the three higher-ups seem like it'd be an easier task to do. Um, I'm trying to get 18 people out of a normal prison that's rough that's, that's where rough. this comes into play and he's pointing out his paper oh, you see like etching out as much as you possibly can a design of some kind Tr a route I got them all out silently as possible well that's gonna take time well it sounds like you have a plan if you're the plan guy maybe we can help but we're not good with plans I'm only as good as I can get. I work with the information I have. <laughs> Volmer. Honestly, if we're going to do something like this, I say we have we'd have to hit both places at once. Hyken does his plan with the prison and tries to get the people out there. And we'd have to do Volmer with the higher ups. But we'd have to try to sneak him into the castle, not get captured. Well, that'd be much easier if it wasn't for the fact that our spy on the inside of the castle was one of the ones caught. Currently, they just have those three, as far as you know. Do we know if it's forded? I wouldn't be amazed. I have the Arcanist. I mean, I could find out if it's warded. To some degree. I'd recommend honest. saving that risk. We've got a lot to do here. Well, I would be sending a little friend of mine into the castle and if she's seen then I can make her disappear. you all seem like fantastic people I'm glad you found your group of friends Walmer. but you have a goal here let us handle this uh, come back when you think you can help us out here maybe we'll even solve the issue before you do you're looking for someone Let's focus on the brighter side. Let's focus on something we can do. And now what does it um, mean? This hasn't really come up yet. Mm -hmm. Do in in this world does um, magic warding affect psionics? 
in your experience, having had the effect yourself for a while, a majority of magical wards do not affect your psionic ability. It kind of like messes a little bit here and there, but nothing really has too keenly like counteracted you any which way. Like if maybe like something that uh doesn't let you follow through your telekinetic, something that blocks that telepathy, that's a possibility. But anything that hard stops you from using your psionics, you haven't come across anything like that. Okay. Hmm. So. Uh, but he would then look at Vivian there and was like, well, shoot, see if we know him. And Vivian would look at you, uh, uh, Jack, for a moment. And I was like, well, it's been seven years, but his name's Alexander. Timid, shy. He'll stand up for himself for the most part. Until he takes a fist to the gut. I'm willing to bet he's in the soldier program somewhere. Yeah, Alexander Novoth. I'll look into it. Doesn't ring a bell to me. He would I'll see about it. He would have originally been from Bezalok. An export or import. Yeah. That narrows it down. His father has uh, military yeah. ties. So. 13? Hard to tell. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out then. Meanwhile, sorry to keep you. I'm sure you have, uh, well, I can't say more important business. This is a life's goal for you, Volmer. It's your father's. Good to hear. Well then, I've got a lot of planning to do. I've got research on hand, and I'll put the word out. If you're looking for an Alexander Naval, timid fellow, not that hard to find. Navath. Navath. Well, if you wish, I'm sure you ordered yourself some coffee. Enjoy, it's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Well. And Vivian would look at you all at that point and speak in comms, kind of like, So, Volmer, am I being dropped off here or am I going to start exploring on my own? I know how to get in here now, at the very least. That's a good, fair point. I'll use it sparingly, but then... Jack, am I hanging out with the Rebels? Oh, am I staying at an inn? I mean... Are you guys gonna take care of, uh... Veril, not dying. And turning to... Snow, I think? At this point, it's up to you. What do you want to do? No offense, Volmer, but... I'm not a rebel. Well, I'm a rebel. I'm not a revolutionary. <laughs> and while I'm totally cool with helping you all, if you need my help, this isn't exactly my goal. Yeah. This is just a connection, then. Yeah. Connections are always good. They are. Well. Also be a good place to hide out if I ever spot any, uh, any of the Royal Guard. So is the coffee here actually good? Is coffee ever good? 
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm in agreement with you, Fanoa, but yeah. <laughs> with a lot of sweet stuff inside of it. Coffee sweet. Oh, that's at that point. Oh, fucking stick to my peppermint mocha, thank you very much. <laughs> See, I like the Delicious. white chocolate caramel. No. Yeah. Yeah. I like my peppermint mocha. I like it with a triple shot. God. Eggnog latte. I miss my triple shot. I used to have one every morning before work. I'm now I'm not working and I don't go by the coffee stand. <laughs> oh, it's uh, a tragedy. But easy enough bad. if you all want to enjoy yourselves. Oh, that's White adorable. Caramel mocha. Oh. Quad yeah. shot. That's adorable. Quad <laughs> shot. God damn. Yep. Mm -hmm. That'll wake you up. God. At that point, just got a red eye. <laughs> But yes, the coffee is good. Nothing really to write home about, but it is still a very enjoyable, tasty, darker flavor coffee. But as you all begin to make your way upstairs to at least enjoy, and Fen just devouring the hell out of her brownie. It's like three bites, it's gone. <laughs> is the muffin good? It's getting a little bit on that stale side. It seems like they made that in the morning. It's a very fresh batch, but now you're getting into that point of mid afternoon ish, so it's getting a little bit past its prime point. Okay. <laughs> Munching. <laughs> munch, munch. But, and during yourselves your treats and the coffee yourselves, you are easily able to leave the little bakery as you so desire. To which instantly Vivian would ask you, Vomer, for the nearest inn of medium range. That she may herself depart. For the time being. Yeah, you easily <laughs> would know of one. But in that instance, you would see her kind of just... Look at you all with one final... Small longing look amongst each of you. She returns the hug. Yeah. Take care of yourself, boss. Don't get in too much trouble. I love her. Before, <laughs> before she leaves, Jack's going to pull her in for a hug and kind of give her a kiss on the forehead. You be safe and bring him home to us. I'll do everything I can. And if you're going to give a kiss goodbye, do it like a man. And she just pulls you by the shirt and just goes right in for it. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Oh, shit. <sighs> I fucking love Vivian. Yep. <laughs> okay, then. How do you get yourselves killed? That's my job. Yeah, don't die either. And remember, we're only a stone's throw away. I can't throw that far, Jack. Ah. She's smart, so she puts up the hood <laughs> and begins to make her way um, out. Before she goes, I'm just going to reach out and kind of like touch her shoulder and be like, be careful. Like, oh. I can watch him and make sure he doesn't do stupid shit. But you're on your own. So watch yourself, please. I'll do my best. If you die, I'll fucking kill you. Not if I kill you first. <laughs> <sighs> Actually, really I'll group mom, and she gives you a slight elbow. <laughs> Keep in touch, please. When I can. Okay. Oh God, Revan is no, in here. No, we no. Here we go. Here we go. I will fucking just off Jack. <laughs> I swear to God. He's <laughs> Vivian as a revenant just just killed him. Yep. <laughs> See, I was waiting for Ashran to pull Vivian for a kiss, like. <laughs> <laughs> but you watch her put her hood up, and she walks off in the directions that Vomer had given to her. Disappearing to the crowd, meager as it might be, eventually just blending in with the rest of them. What are the rest of y'all doing? Crying. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh. Sheds a tear. Does the cloud of chance meatball thing. And then... <laughs> yeah. Back up it. <laughs> <sighs> Fucking hell. 
me as a player is has so much anxiety about her leaving. <laughs> Y'all no, set her up pretty it. fucking nicely. Also, for the she, first time in yeah. like six months, close Vivian's character sheet. <laughs> I don't like that. Leave it open, please. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Fucking hell. She'll check in. It'll be okay. <laughs> right? It'll be fine. <laughs> Who's gonna call me boss when she's gone? Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, she won't die while we're not there. We'll get back and she'll die we'll dramatically. We'll just find her being tortured and she'll her. die in yeah. front of you. Yeah, that's how that works. Uh, well, <laughs> let me get my backups ready. <laughs> <sighs> Don't you dare pull the Luckomancer. Oh, I will. That will be my next... And he only has silvery barbs. That's the only fucking <laughs> spell he knows. You break the rules of D&D &D and just have silvery barbs as every one of them. Yep. That's it. First to ninth level, all silvery barbs. But is the plan just walking out and teleporting over to Balloon Czar? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Easily enough to walk out of this town and very casually taking one last glance at the simple, calm, but a bit cold environment around you all, the stone buildings and the aesthetic just kind of ringing a far undesired protection that a lot of people would ask for. Uh, you can travel by Main Street, you can travel by uh, side roads if you want, that's up to you to ask Volmer. What? Uh, for a secluded area, you can travel by yeah. Main Street, which obviously there'll be no secluded area, or by side road for ask Volmer. Ask Volmer. Hey, bitch! <laughs> Can we go <laughs> through side? <laughs> through the side roads? I need to try something, and I don't want to do it with, like, a shit ton of people around, you know? It's nothing bad, I will say that, to better convince you. <laughs> I think that makes it worse. I mean, I'm not gonna- it's nothing illegal that's going to kill anyone or kidnap anyone. Uh, then what's the fun in it? Oh, sorry. Okay. So easily enough, yeah, you'd be able to lead up uh, towards an area that's a lot less secluded than in most cases, especially off of the uh, main entrance. You kind of take like a bit of an angled route, but you can easily get to a bit of a like a back alley corner. Uh, think, think the empty lot from Yakuza. Okay, can I just take out Frankie and just see... I want to try and talk to him. Okay. So as you all kind of take this little break and you take Frankie out of the bag of holding from Ashrin, and as you watch him kind of like spread his wings and wake up as he comes to life, and you all just look at Fenoa just holding Frankie in her hand just starts talking to him. I want to see... Does he still just wear back at me? Fuck, okay. That's all, I'm just gonna give him a little pat. A little disappointed, but that's okay. I still love him, and I'm still very proud of him. <laughs> Do you put him back in the bag of holding? No, I'm gonna keep him. Okay. He can chill my head or something, he's my little buddy. Okay. It's still bugging Jack a little bit, this whole like prison break thing. He's gonna send Lily to the castle. Okay. So I would say in the walk that you made it towards the front entrance and making your way to a teleportation spot, Lily would be able to arrive at the castle where it itself also has uh walls that are high up, though not as high as the actual out outside of walls. It's only about 30 feet high in comparison. And you would see that there are, once again, guard posts just stationed all around the lining of the wall. You even see that there are actually almost like 
cut out stone windows that they can even point uh, ballistas to the outside of the walls themselves. And you can see a pair of cannons at the very front gate that are just constantly pointed inward, just ready to shoot at any given moment. I'm going to tell her to get inside and try to find the prison and pay attention to see if anyone notices her while she's invisible. Those are so important. What is the invisibility classified as? Just an innate ability, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. The sprite magically turns invisible until it attacks or casts a spell or until its concentration ends. Oh, but it is still magical. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And mm. I tell her the moment she thinks she's been spotted to tell me and then I'm going to poof her out of there okay and I can communicate with her as long as we're on the same plane of existence mm -hmm. and there's no range on the poofing either yeah yeah it's packed to the chain I love it <laughs> so much Very and nice. the other thing Very I forgot nice. about I can speak through her with my voice yeah I remember that I didn't realize <laughs> that part yeah no yeah <laughs> but uh That's Easily enough, as you guys are currently looking for a much more secluded spot to teleport out of, because teleporting in is not as noticeable as teleporting out, but almost instantly, very quickly, maybe not even five minutes of Lily being in there, being able to slip in through one of the open windows of the castles themselves, you would instantly have Lily notifying you, saying that they're looking for something. Can they see, I'm going to ask her, do they see you specifically? I don't know. They're looking for something small. Okay, I'm going to make her disappear, come back to me. Okay. And then I'm going to send her to the bakery. Okay, so, as she is being sent away while you guys are at a position to teleport, where are you teleporting to, Fulmer? Balloons are, or somewhere else, just to fuck with everybody? Because you really think that you could just take them any fucking where? I think that would need plane shift for that one. It is a demi plane. Taking the balloons are. Okay. And Fanoa's running around the entire planet, apparently. <laughs> I was on a random little country. I want to put myself on the island at least. <laughs> Easily enough, tapping into the magic of the Helm of Teleportation and to call upon such powerful level spell to teleport each and every one of you, forcing you all into a little bubble worth of energy before you eventually reappear. Where exactly in Balloons are, are you thinking about? Does he have to roll? He does. <laughs> this is going to be funny. Are. Grand uh, Duchy of Kubin, the red bit on the left side. Just outside to where we won't be spotted? Okay, so just outside the city itself. That was a lot closer than it should have been. Mm -hmm. Oh, but, okay, thanks. But, easily enough teleporting just outside the city walls between the Green Hill and Moon Meadow. Let me slap you all over there. Where you can easily just plant your feet down and you feel yourself land upon the much rougher soil of that area at the city of balloons are to been which here. almost instantly volmer you would get a perk in your head one you haven't heard in a while 
I know you're near. We need to talk. There's a bitch. Stay where you are. Well, this is not the cult. Who is this? Jen. Jen. That bitch we killed, who should be dead. Who's not Was dead? Was Delmar there for that part? No, no. actually, I no, that's know. right, he but wasn't. He yeah. Delmar up with yes. everything. So Delmar is aware of this. That y'all saw her remember. dead body. The player is not. Yeah, we killed her, then shortly afterwards, there was some link between her and uh, Volmer, and they were communicating, and the fuck, and then now she's been spotted here, Bolinzar. Yep. And now you guys are ported here. Vero had already told us this, right? Yes. Vero said that Gorbel the Goblin let hit, let them know that she was here. Didn't get any more information because he doesn't know how to use sending like a grandpa. <laughs> what? What did Jen say? She said, wait here. Uh, did she seem peaceful or is she going to come kill us? I hope the bitch will. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Try me. Bring it. <laughs> but, as you all are wait we there. Are in here or are we going to bounce? I mean, you guys. We're here to see her. She wants to talk. Fuck well, it. We needed to talk to her anyway. <laughs> oh, Is Delmar trying to hide behind a tree? No, here, here's here's how it works out. Potential energy. Or, or here's potential how it works enemy. Out. Delmar is very aware that staying out in the brand open is obviously a very bad idea. So instinct is to climb up in a tree. Very few people <laughs> look upwards. That's very simple and very easy. The problem comes when... There's no trees? No, there is trees. Oh, they don't God. have that much foliage. Oh. But at the very least, he is covered for what it's worth. <laughs> That is until you all are able to see the black figure of spreaded wings just in the sky, slowly uh, making their brought, way down. He brought Sparky. And you instantly see the bird starting to drift its way to Dalmar's tree. And Dalmar, you're just looking up kind of like, you don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. You just see, you hear a voice come from it. It goes like, I don't want to fight. You can come down from the tree. I want oh, to fight. Thing. How much longer do comms have? I could say another hour. Because I did roll a four, so four hours, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then I'm gonna... Jump down. And... Okay. Easily enough to make your way down parkour style. With your acrobatic skill. Yeah. Before you all just watch as... Only about 20-something feet away from y'all, not distant at all, lands Sparky, the Thunderbird, expansive in size as he is, and jumping off, still with the cloak that she had before, but now with pitch white hair, you can see she dropped the illusion of the blonde hair on her head, kind of looks at you and goes, I know, things are tough, okay, you probably want to kill me. I have justified reasons to do it. First off, why didn't it take the first time? How are you alive? You already killed a Bri. I guess there's no real reason to even hide it. It was a gamble. Hard gamble. A Bri had us put ourselves in the shard and make bodies for ourselves he was supposed to come back out he didn't I did the shard made a new body for you yeah how ask him He's well, dead. You can't ask him. You killed him. Okay. We did. And we destroyed we the shard. Did. 
I know you did. How? You what? Yes. You what? The short god shattered. Poof. I tried to kill you once. That was dumb. Look. No. Look, I'm not here because of that. That was a goal for something else. Well, to help me and Veril. And you do see her instantly gesture towards Veril. Yeah, I remember some things. And you need to remember also, and you watch her kind of just pull a, a glass, a minor potion in her hand. It's not poison. Someone catch it. Hold on. Oh good, I rolled above a three. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna join with that because this bitch. Check. Is it bad that I kind of just like naturally trust her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, with 20, 16, and 16, God, there goes one more too. 20, <laughs> y'all, y'all want to know. There is restraint. She's very clearly withholding information, but at the same time, there's almost like this sense of panic and desperation to her that it's hard to deny she's lying when she's getting in this sort of state. Let them drink it. Okay? I don't see a problem with this, but it's Veril's choice. Yeah. And you would see Veril kind of go a little bit of uh, recognition to uh, the potion itself. And I was like, is that the thing I drank before? And she looks at him and look at them, curious. Like, so you've seen the goblin? The little freak? Yeah. Good. Then you're saving me the explanation. Who's going to catch? They're bad at it. Can't you just walk it to them? Is she gonna stab me? Points at Fanoa with her sword drawn. Fanoa, no stabbing. For now, I'm not making any promises like, oh yeah, I'm never gonna stab. For, I for, won't stab for, for now. now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> and you watch her very carefully walk her way over, and you do see that Sparky behind her takes a couple steps forward where she just raises a hand to him. Kind of like shakes her head just very gently. You can almost hear the disappointed um, cry coming from the large bird. Something tells me that Fanoa and this bird would get, they'd get along very well. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> gonna but say in Sylvan to Sparky, oh. do you understand me? What, what language you use? Sylvan. Fae language. No, I know. I'm just making sure. Yep. You do see him perk his head up to you in, like, shock re recognition. Huh. I want to be friends with Sparky so bad. I do, too, actually. I was a player, but... I my hand in front of him, because I like him. I don't like Jen. He he's, like, still 20 feet away. Yeah. Can I go over and let him sniff my hand? I want to be friends with him. If you, you want to, yeah. I like him, I hate Jen. But as, as Jen is approaching, now so you're bad. making your way towards Sparky instead. And you do see her kind of pause a moment as you're making your way past her, like, kind of like, are you actually coming to attack me before you just walk on by her? And she just shoots a cursory glance towards your direction before the group, and kind of like, acknowledges the rest of y'all, kind of like, they that's just what she does kind of thing. Jen likes animals. As long as she doesn't hurt him. Uh, pull the like. sword down, Noah. We'll say that out loud. What? Yeah, she, she put it away. Put the sword down. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> but, uh, she would walk up to oh, right. Veril and just hand them the potion. And goes, Remember? 
me. Me, okay? And you do watch this very old... Regrettably opens up the bottom. You can almost see the instant recognition of like, Oh yeah, I remember what this tastes like. Sort of face go on them before they... Down it. And you do see it just sludge slowly through the bottle like... I'm barely gonna, melted honey. I'm gonna cast Prestidigitation to make it taste like honey. Okay. <laughs> and you do see that the moment it hits the mouth, there's a minor flinching of the sensation. But eventually you do see that it... That veil does swallow a lot easier, probably because of that taste more than anything. But after a bit of a pausing moment, and as Vanilla barely arrives to Sparky, you do see Veril kind of like look intrigued at the bottle, then looks at Jen, and you almost see like the eyes kind of go wide. You remember me? Kinda. Good. Okay, I know this is going to sound really bad to all of you. That worked, which means we got to go. Not for long. Go where? A dangerous place, I'll just say it. But that doesn't last long. We have maybe two days at best for us to remember this stuff. Then well, let's get moving. Where, where are we going? Yeah, you can't just say a dangerous place and be like, you guys oh, can't yeah, come with. Go. We have to go fast. We're traveling You're across the country here. You're taking Veril and going. I'm going with them to get what we need. Oh, fuck Except no. Except to Veril, ultimately. You do see Veril, Veril kind of you, like... Do you trust her? I... I have to. And you, you see Vero looking at them, kind of like a, a like a million questions racing through the mind in an instant. And I was like, I'm gonna look straight at Jen. We've killed you once before. Anything happens to Vero, you won't, you won't want to be alive anymore to deal with it. If I fuck up, if either of us die, neither of us will be alive to tell tale. We're all just like, what is yeah, this bitch's it's, plan? Yeah, it's like just hard suspicion upon her. I mean, hey, it's founded. We need what? to fly. And we need to fly fast. What are you trying to do? Because first off, Hera. this could be something bad like you and a bride. What are you trying to do? Hear us. This, and she got at her hair. Don't think you realize it's natural. No, yeah. it's a fucking demon. They know, and she looks directly at Veril there. I... I've been researching. Not much. I've just been researching. And as you bring that up, Volmer, she looks at Veril even more panicked than ever. It's like, you let it in? It was... Tr I got help. Fanoa slapped it out. Yeah. What? How did... Okay. Point of order. We need to get going. Because what we need to find, we need to find it before we forget. Why don't you go to, like, some clerical order to have it exercised from you or whatever? Because it's not a curse. It's an infection. A parasite. The more we remember, the more it's going to eat away at us. Where's the location? Could we teleport there? That'd I don't even know. Travel. I just know it's in the frigid north. That's why I'm going to fly on Sparky. We are going there at full speed. <clears throat> Look, I get it. All this sounds beyond 
I tried to kill you. No, I'm no, asking for okay. help. Okay, like, it, it's not too crazy out of the realm of possibilities. We've dealt some crazy shit. It's the fact that we don't trust you because you literally were working with a bry and he was fucking yeah. horrible. Look. Yeah, it's not the information, it's who it's coming from. At the end of the day, this is the best chance we have for Veril. For Veril. Veril, if you so, trust her, I will trust your judgment. And then but I will Jen. say over comms, we can always teleport somewhere to the north and try to find them that way. Jen, you take care of them. Like my own brother. And you watch her side kind of side glance Veril, and you almost see like the blush kind of go over their cheeks. I'm gonna ignore that. I. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Cause just cause. <laughs> uh, but no. What are you? What are you doing with uh, Sparky? I'm just trying to see, like, what? How does he react to sniffing my hand? Can I pet him? Is he going to like try to eat me? Like, what's the deal? Like, you know, like, when you go meet a strange dog and you're like, sniff my hand, we're gonna see how this goes before you proceed. Give me an animal handling check. supposed to sniff your hand? Yeah. Then why do they shove their nose in your crotch? Yeah. That's how you know they like you! No, dogs are just annoying. Wow. 19. Dogs are amazing. I'm not a dog person. You, you hold your hand. like, in your face. <laughs> They're hyperactive. I I don't hate them. I just prefer cats. Yes, exactly. Uh, holding your hand out for uh for Sparky, you do see, you do see them kind of like look at you confused for a little while before eventually you do see the kind of the bee kind of lower down, and what very tiny pores holes for the senses of smell kind of like sniff and with the being with sort of being big enough, you can even hear the breath coming off of them. Before eventually you get it, just like the beak just very gently graces your palm of your hand. And you just feel just a shock, just kind of like to shoot right through. May I pet? Just tilt the tattoo. to you. Oh, I had a bad thought. Hey, TK, can I pet it? I want to pet it. If you want to try and petting it, I want to pet it. Give me a cottage to save it, throw. I'm fine with this. Hi, cat. <laughs> Natural <laughs> 20. <laughs> As you go to place your hand right on the on the on the feathers and the beak of uh, of uh, a Sparky, almost instantly you see an arc of electricity just surge against your hand. And for the briefest of moments, you feel your body tense, but you feel the urge of pet just overcome that pain, and you just plant your hand firmly on Sparky's uh, mane itself, and you just feel the softness and the very faint hum and vibration of just constant electricity just surging through your arm the entire time but he is incredibly smooth and soft i love him and i feel a tiny bit better about jen still not much but teeny tiny bit <laughs> but as uh Jen looked at you all for a brief moment because I promise we'll be back as soon as possible. I've got a couple more of these potions, but we have to do this fast. We're going to be flying to the north. You have clothes to keep yourself warm, right? And Vero kind of just like shrugs like, I got some a little while ago. Good. You're going to need them. I um, have a spare blanket. Or a blanket, for that matter. Did you? Probably. Ventures I'm good. attempting to navigate inventory screen. <laughs> it's an alphabetical, so. For Jack's own curiosity, he's going to look to Sparky and Sylvan say, Do you speak? You see him perk his head up against you, or towards you again. And you hear just... Not exactly words... But almost like thoughts, in a sense. Like, you, you get the idea, but there's no words attached to it. And it just says, somewhat. Did you ask him if he likes me? 
<laughs> I feel like the bird just sent you like an image of it going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Un poquito. <laughs> um. Huh. It speaks in gifts. Yeah, exactly. I'll say to <laughs> Sparky again. Is she honest? You get the thought of she always is. <laughs> yeah. Well, now he'll get that thought. Less. He'll get that thought back. Just yeah. You get the tell tad, and you hear just a little. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Jack's learning something new every day. Okay. Well. Back to, I guess, Veril on their new journey, Jesus Christ. By the way, Fennel, while you're currently, like, keep petting Sparky, you eventually feel just, like, the claws of Frankie just on top of your head, just kind of, like, just getting just a little bit tighter. Can I pet Frankie with my other <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. They stay about just as tight as they were before. <laughs> But, uh, I'll eventually you see... Or, er, not, Sparky. Sparky. <laughs> you feel the claws loosen. <laughs> you do see that Jen eventually just really grabs Ro by the hand, just goes... This is probably going to be the most dangerous thing you've ever done. Besides get lightning struck by Sparky. More dangerous than fighting a dragon? Or a bry. Okay, you have a lot to tell me while we're flying, okay? Because there's a lot. I'll explain also. But we gotta go. Don't tell her fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> can I give Vera uh, a hug before they go? You can. As she's, as she's pulling Vera along towards Spark, you can just go ahead and just tackle hug him and halfway Them. through. <laughs> Them. God damn it. <laughs> it's okay. You're doing so good. <laughs> and they would kind of like pat you back. And it goes like, I'll be okay. She'll take care of me. I think. And if she doesn't, we'll take care of her. Very much so. Glad and not in a good way. I take care of her. Mm. Enough with the awkward goodbyes. You won't be dying. Be safe. Yeah. You won't be dying at all if this goes out well. Be safe, Feral. And you watch as she just pulls Veril onto the back of Sparky, and very quickly they launch off into the air, almost with the sound of crackling thunder ringing through, as you watch Sparky go into their black cloud-like form and just into the air. Huh. Well, now what are we supposed to do? Yeah, right? Viva la revolution? <laughs> yeah, we're Does anybody want to go make a tea delivery? Yeah! You are off the mountain, that's oh right! Oh my god, I <laughs> forgot, yeah. What are you talking about main healer, motherfucker? Yeah. Veril ain't got shit off for heals. They're in animal yeah, form the whole time. <laughs> Mostly after the fights. Oh, fuck. But yeah, does, does anybody want to go make a tea delivery? I will gladly go make a tea delivery. Oh, sure, why not? <laughs> Just have to remember where we were and find our way back. It's yeah. easy enough. You know that it was uh, off the mountainside itself here. It's just a little bit, uh, if I'm not correctly, northeastern. Or northwest, I sorry. I think it's closer to Viglia than it is to Balloonsar, though. It was. Yeah. It's more towards, uh, Bill. Sorry, then that's southwest. My bad. Busy enough, you guys can make yourselves a trip. Wrong fucking continent. You dumb That is bitch. the wrong fucking continent. You dumb bitch. <laughs> Boy, I have too many maps open. Yeah, I think it was like. Yeah, wasn't it over here? In these mountains, yeah. 
Oh no, it was right. It is northwest. Did we hey, just I tap in the right, the exact. Yeah, place. we did. I'm pretty sure we fucking did. We did. That's funny it as was, hell. It was in here somewhere. Yes. Yeah. I was right. It is northeast. God damn it! I did have it right the first fucking time. It was uh, northwest of Viglia. Yeah, northwest yeah, yeah, yeah. of Viglia, but it's northeast, northeast of, of you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. God, I had it right the first time. I should have gone. But myself. yeah, does does anybody want to go? Do that? I mean, let's go. <laughs> I like yeah. how we went from serious thing to serious thing to like filler episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is the group. This is the beach episode. I would say there is, you do also have one more teleportation for this day. Also, you do have one. True. True. Do we want to teleport to outside the cave, or do we want to walk? Oh, I meant, I meant Volmer saying that he wants to teleport to Luma in a little bit. Yeah, I mean. Well, you know, since we're in this area, there was that thing in Wick Camp. I feel like some of us aren't supposed to go to Wick Camp. Also, Dalmar investigated a good chunk, so what exactly are you talking about? <laughs> I just remember the whole, like, uh, safe thing under Wick Camp. Did he investigate that? Yeah, that's the thing that Dalmar went to investigate. Okay. And what did we hit? Yeah, nothing was in there? Uh, there was nothing necessarily object-wise in there, but there were the six uh, murals that told the that's story. Right. That's right. Fuck. And that gave a lot more information, more clear-cut information, because unlike the rest of the murals or a lot of other things, these were pristinely well-kept. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, and you found out there was, in fact, a sixth member, that the sixth member was, quote-unquote, possessed by Mother for a time, and that during what, as some sort of ritual whatsoever, that the other five members were fending off a bunch of creatures in the darkness while the bow user fired on mother for whatever reason and the next panel was the same one that y'all saw in the cave which was the bow being segmented into five pieces and being handed off to the others okay god damn it me as a player now is remembering something that i want to know because it hasn't become relevant now with the new group was the fucking black sludge thing with a Sean and Corvaeus. That was making all like the zombie like bulked up dudes. Oh yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. At that plot point that got totally sidetracked because of all the fucking new characters. I just remembered it because like we had to go up in the Narg Ziggian Empire yep. for that one. Yep. There, there, there was so much y'all had to do for that yeah, and then it was, it was just new characters all around. Fuck. Yep. Okay. Well, is there you know, any? Like, Dalmar and Volmer are the only ones who can remotely like know about that shit. Yeah. And Delana didn't say a damn thing about it at the end of the day, so. Nope. Actually, I don't even think they could, cause it was dried up or whatever when Corvaeus was in the area. Yeah, that's what I'm was, saying. Is they, they yeah. were the only ones there that could even know. Yeah. But Delana didn't say anything about why they were up there to begin with, so it's like that yeah. information just died. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So let's go meet the Medusa lady thing again. I On guess. the way, can I pick her some flowers? Uh, what flowers grow in this area, because this area is a lot more rugged and more dead than most of the other lo other other uh, continents, words. I'm okay with that. I just want to make her, like, the best little bouquet I can. Okay. Uh, are you traveling by Hamilton teleportation or just making your way there? Because if you're making your way there, that is a days and a half travel by main road. Rox, you guys don't have horses, so that's just three days. <laughs> we fucking left our horses with Carnum, or yeah, you did because you teleported. That's right. Yep. <laughs> so you just got a bunch of free fucking horses. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's just, let's just teleport, spend the night in her uh, nice little cave, and, you know, maybe take a dip in that nice little pool of water and see... No. <laughs> We'll do it. I'm glad you did that. Yeah. Oh, God. Do I have to hold this fucking table again? I know wants a dick again. You do. God damn it. I want to swim. <laughs> you want to swim for a swing? Yeah. I was really hoping we could just go in the cave and I could, like, yell for her and let her know it was us and she'd come meet us and we wouldn't have to deal with all the traps and shit. Well, don't forget you swim. broke the majority of the traps down that way. I assume she's been working to fix them. Also, uh, side note, since I left Lily to go to the uh, bakery shop, she's just going to relay the information to whoever That's she right, can about this. Yeah. Uh, that they can detect invisibility inside the castle. And okay. they know relative size and that someone is there but did not see off the bat. Okay. And then I'll pop her back to me. Okay. And there would be a uh, reply from Lily, at least like minor kind of like a, they appreciate the information. Every little bit helps. Yeah. And if she has to talk it to the person up at the bakery itself, it'll be an Elvin. Okay. Yeah. Because I think you said that was an elf, right? Yeah, it was half elf. Where the fuck is that table? <laughs> Y'all actually gonna go into that fucking water to try this? <laughs> I'm not. I will. He will slide it to the left and down one floor and behind the corner. Aha! There, uh -huh, there you are. Told you. The, the sad thing is, <laughs> Delmar, you always say things are slightly to the left and 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 down. <laughs> slightly to the left and down is exactly where my oh fucking. Oh my vocal god. Was. Yes! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Great. Are, you are using the teleport, just making sure, right? Yep. Just making sure. Using up the last teleporter today. Not exactly planned to use in this method, but still being able to teleport just outside of the cave. Go ahead and roll D100. Just make sure there's no blunder here. Very perfectly fine, yeah. Easily able to teleport just outside the cave itself. Or you were able to enter inside and travel the 20 to 30 minute now, tunnel way. Hmm? We covered the entrance pretty yeah. good and covered yeah, you it did. up. Does it look like it's been disturbed at all? No. Okay. It's not seeing anybody has attempted to enter uh, this say, place. Could that time. we have teleported inside? I would say you'd be able to teleport just inside the cave mouth, yeah. Let's do that instead, so we don't, we don't disturb. Have to disturb yeah, the entrance. Because I would have specifically mentioned that. Yeah, that that would have been a good. That would be the thing to remember at that point. Yeah. But teleporting inside to the pitch black darkness, where majority of you have dark vision to an extent. Volmer took the goggles with her, with him. Yep. Oh no, no, gave him the jack. Gave him the jack. That's right. I would have given the given him back. To me, Farrell. No, I would have given them back to Veril. Uh, okay, so... Because I <laughs> ended up having... Oh, wait, no, yeah. But yeah, and I would have given those back, because they were Veril's anyways, and I'll just it's cast fine. Light. Light, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just double-checking, just gotta remember that uh, neither Dalmar nor Jack have... It's uh, fine. Goggles of Night. Light. We don't need them. <laughs> Actually, hold up this one better. Yeah, I have Goggles of Night. I bought my own pair. That's right, you bought your own pair and gave barrel that Sebo made. That's yeah. right. I have my own permanent Wait. pair. What? Now it does not have light. No, no, I have light. I was just looking at my sprite. They don't have dark vision? Do they not? I mean, I feel like a sprite isn't a very, like, nighttime dark vision kind of thing. No, I feel like for a familiar, they would have given it dark vision. Even... Cats don't have dark vision. Even less than that, though, they're, like, you know, fae, you know, sylvan, like, more towards the elf side. Again, elf, elf. like, like Ashwin's saying, like, they don't really equate with dark vision. I just thought because it's a warlock familiar 
They just say, hey, the thing has dark vision. No. Cats don't have dark vision. Why would they do that? Because it'd be None nice. of this yeah. makes sense. <laughs> D and D, it's not supposed to make sense. Nah. Fair enough. Cats Just like the help. OGL. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're gonna nah. get canceled now. Good job. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd like good. to see him try. More lay, bitches. But easily able to. <laughs> it's open D and D, not free D and D. But uh, walking away down that dark tunnel with light to illuminate before you guys get to the luminescent mushrooms that are constantly just coating the wall through several of the twists and turns. And you would see that the traps that you guys have broken before have been at least cleaned up so that whatever material had fallen off of them or the blades are like halfway sliced have now been kind of pushed to the side, but they have been left inactive. Okay. Unable to have been repaired. I have her name written down. Can you remind me how to say it? Uh, go ahead and tell me, because I don't have the page up right now. I think it's Raya. Raya. R-E-I-Y-A-H. Raya. I believe it's Raya. Raya. I believe it's Raya. Double checking. I really need to organize this better. I really should not just have, like, 30 different tabs. I probably should have these all linked somehow. I'm surprised you don't have them, like, organized by, like, country. I do, but that's that's all I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would be, like, country, then, Literally, like, it's NPCs. Just, like, country and, like, a rough location, and that's it. Okay. So, like, this is all in Principality of Sicilia, so I've got Viglia in there, I've got the other group in there, I've got a bunch of shit in there. I've got a fucking mind. Yeah, I believe it's Raya. Raya. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to kind of shout loudly into the cave and see if she can hear me and if she shows up. And let her know that it's me. After shouting to the cave and waiting for a couple moments as the group continues to kind of push forward a little bit more, slowly but surely, no reply. I'm gonna cast light on Lily. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna send of light. <laughs> I'm gonna send her down to where uh Raya was at. Okay. And you would have to go past the pool of unique possibilities. Mm -hmm. Uh and I'll be but easily sight. able to direct her towards that direction and asking Ashrin specifically where did she go because you all Besides Ashrin, never went past that point. Uh, but easily enough, are able to go towards that rotating round uh, hole that locates to her room where she is currently not at. Oh. She's not there. Hmm. Um. If I remember correctly. There was, like, the pool of water. We had the entrance we came in at, pool of water, then the other side that went over to her little spiral thing. But there was another, mm -hmm. like, pathway right below where we came in at. Yes, where there was a stair puzzle, but y'all just went, fuck that. Yeah, I'm gonna send <laughs> Lily down that way. And you would see that where well, once before there was just a darkness that you couldn't even look past of any sort of kind beyond the stairwell you would see that it is now actually been cleared up. And only about 20 or so feet down, there seems to be a floor there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, with my voice through Lily, start calling out for Raya. And say, we brought tea. After calling out down below there, Hearing the echoes in the halls, even you guys can hear it at this point, as you're starting to get closer towards the pool itself. Nothing. Um... Is there anything down there at all? In current view, looking downward, you do see that there is two possible pathways for the hall. 
Uh, should I keep... This is to the group. Should I keep sending Lily down to search for her? I don't know. I'm a little concerned that she hasn't answered us yet. I mean, if this yeah. goes deeper, she might just be deeper down. Well, let's get there first, I guess. Okay. I mean... And all the same, I'm going to... Okay, so when we came in, it was... Oh, up fuck. Today is the... not Damar's day. Nope! Alright, Damar's checking out. <clears throat> <laughs> I think I guarantee... Uh, I think I found the trap with my face. I think is what just happened. You were just literally just... feeling the entire walls for any sort of traps whatsoever. And the entire party's just right behind you. Just like, one step. Sir, search, search, search. Two step. Like, sir, search, search, search. <laughs> okay. So I'm also trying to remember, like, when we f came here first, there was that room that split between the uh, blades and then up above where we got attacked by the, like, imp things, right? Or the Do we not have a map anymore? Uh, I've been trying to find it. I can't yeah. fucking oh, find no. it. And then, like, it went on farther than that, which was down and around, which led to the mushroom room, where I took a couple pieces of it. Mm -hmm. And we found, like, the dead bodies and the walls and stuff like that. And there was one part to the north that led to a dead end, if I remember correctly. I think because we have full. Speaking. Oh, you know what? I could just do this. I, I, at the very least, I could do this while I'm still looking for this fucking thing. Zoom that shit out. Lab. Everyone there, and start drawing. So essentially speaking, like that was the traps. That's terrible. So the traps. The trap. Which goes into the pools. And then her room was over there. Yeah. Boom. God damn it. And then down here was where the stairs were. Yeah. That y'all just said, fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, up here was the... Up here was a different room, which was where the gargoyles went off. Yeah, so then here we had the mushrooms, and then up here was blank, roughly, or a dead end. So the only yeah. place that we didn't explore fully was down here. Yeah. So real quick, I'll just send Lily, I guess, to those other back rooms uh, that we know are dead ends, and just see if she's up in that area while we head towards the stairs. Okay. And, yes, Volmer, I, I do have that. I didn't necessarily want to shout that loudly. But, as you send Lily up towards that direction, towards the more uh, dead-end section in the upper halls, and you guys make your way down the stairs, we're almost instantly down the stairs itself as you just bypass the pool room. Uh, you can see down both hallways. Down one hallway is another collapsed section that seems to just be cut off entirely that goes uh, further to the right. While going beneath the stairs to the left, there seems to be a chamber room of some kind. Where you can see at the very end, where normally speaking, there probably would be a closed off door of some kind. You can see that it actually has a section of the wall quite literally blown a hole in it. How fresh does that seem? Hard to tell at this distance. It's like a 30 foot hole. I'm gonna get up closer. As you guys begin to walk your way closer, and you have your light igniting everything, you can tell, upon first glance, especially for Damar, who has natural passive fucking 20 for everything, uh, that this was not a necessarily recent endeavor. That whatever caused this, this has been sitting there for a little bit of time. As you kind of approach, you can see that the light kind of shines in towards whatever chamber that is. 
And at least just from this outside section where that blown off section is just barely tall enough for a human to walk through. You swear you can just see what looks like murals hanging on the walls. God damn it, is this another one of those things? Go inside, take a look. As soon as you stick your head through, and especially Damar, you, more than anyone in this party, who has <laughs> seen these murals before, and they do look exactly alike from the ones before, but you can see, just off to the left side of the room itself, seems to be a body in a cloak with the hood off and snake hair just kind of limp. No, 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 no. Wait, there's a... Was that a picture on the mural? Or was... No, no that was that a... Freya. Oh. Rat, Raya, Freya, whatever. Um, I'm gonna run up to her. Is she breathing? It's very weak, but she is breathing. I'm just gonna start popping cure wounds into her. Yep. As you fucking cry. You implant a mass of cure wounds. It would take yeah. Go ahead and just spend up four of them, yeah. Yep. Four of them. All my first hole slots. I guess correctly. As you take notice of her almost like whatever color of her skin was faded has now kind of reverted back to her. And you eventually see the snake start to kind of make hissing and actually start to move around and wake up. I'm gonna put myself, like, where she can see me first so that she's not, like, freaking out when she wakes up. Yeah. Okay. And as you watch as the eyes kind of just flutter open carefully, you do almost instantly see an instinctual, like, defense mechanism go off. Like, she kind of gets ready to do, enact something before she almost hey. instantly recognizes. What happened? You okay? There they go. Where? Where did who go? A who? The man. He came. All dressed. And you watch her instantly like, kind of look towards the center of the room where there doesn't seem to be anything there because like get the kids fuck it just the scroll no and you watch her reach into her her cloth robed and she pulls out the scroll more dangerous what and you watch her put it back the murals my family, my blood. Amon is trying to resurrect someone by the name of Mother. <laughs> yeah, we did, we did, we did run into some crazy people like that. What did they take, and who was it? All of string. As a man, well garbed. Young and foolish. The face. He did not seem to care for his life, but only to succeed. Jack, you can still do that illusion thing, right? Um. I'm. Yeah. Make the illusion of the bowstring? Was it this? Oh, do you know of it? And you just hear getting up more, like, actually defensive. Because we've researched these things. Was that are here? You, are you working with him? No. No. Hold up. There was more than one string? No one 
is meant to know the secret. Five is the misleading number. There were six members. We know six that. Six separated pieces. We know that. The string was split in two to make sure anyone that knew the tale would search for five. Okay. Can you... Hmm. Because we've found one string already. Who is this mother? Do you know? I'm more concerned with who took the other string. I mean, we need to know that too, but... A gracious woman. But her sights were hazed by her desires. She wished to rid the world of evil. But to rid the world, she needed to erase all of it. Even those that hood, that hid. There's only one way to get the hiding monsters out of their holes. Back at them. To get out. Her cause was just. Her method. Too risky. And so my ancestor turned against her, broke the ritual, returned the light to the sky. So she wanted to destroy all evil, and the only way to do that was to destroy everything? At beckoning the darkness. Beckoning how? If the murals and stories are to be believed, by erasing the light only long enough for the dark to have its time so that it can be destroyed. But doing so would bring chaos upon the lands. Lives lost needlessly. When you say erasing the light, do you mean destroying all that is good? No. Merely allowing it so. Defenses fell. Describe this man who attacked you. Young, possibly a nobleman. Innocent of face, though his eyes screamed madness. Councilman? I wouldn't know. But he had this hair that just screamed that he has long since abandoned his nobility he was martyred with slicked back grease of some kind I'm gonna make a minor illusion of Essig you almost see her just like react violently her eyes go from like a standard to a cat oh. sharpness of a snake Ooh, we're gonna have some work i'm gonna Dean, man. i'm gonna grab asher's hand where the ring is at and i'm gonna go what the fuck essig and you immediately hear just like a perk up uh asher and he goes i this was what i was worried about that but this, I didn't know this. I promise you, I didn't know this. Someone or something is helping him. 
half of me is here, half of me is there. There was a void. Something filled it. Okay. Okay. Mars, I believe you. Here's what worries me. I'm his consciousness. I'm the restraint. So he has no restraint. And exactly. he's not in prison anymore. Somehow. Clearly. Okay. Um, Alright, guys. So... Ring. Not him. It's his conscious. Who we sent to prison has no conscious, has no restraint. Bad guy. So kill Essek again, is what I'm hearing. Kill that Essek, yes. Fuck yeah, okay. I would like a body back. You know, we did it for Castian, we might be able to do it for you, but... Does he deserve we have it, some things. He is a very nice young gentleman right now, okay? <laughs> so far, this Essig hasn't been a problem. Mary, Marius, Morris. Shit. Essig. No, I asked him what he preferred to be called. Ella Morris, yeah. Morris. Morris. It's Marius. <laughs> yeah, I just think of Marius. <laughs> I hate that you no. pointed it out. I know, because it's the exact same type of character. Yeah. Fucking Morris. Order. Ring, Morris, is good. As far as I can tell. Do I get the feeling that he could lie to me? Give me an insight check. Am I able to hear this? No, this is all in no. my head. Yeah. Okay, then I can't tell. Oh, oh fuck you, yeah. You get the idea that, yes, he could lie to you. He just isn't. He at least at the moment. And currently hasn't. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So, we know who this is. We could probably track him down. For right now, you're safe. At least. I need to retrieve. My family's heritage. If Mother is to return, she will bring the darkness again. And we are going to do everything to prevent that. I promise you. And you do see that she's like she's heaving, like the breath of an anger of seeing the visage of Essek again. Not notably. I promise, we will do everything we can to prevent that from happening. And you watch her place a hand on her, uh, her chest where she keeps the, uh, the scroll. I burned in myself with two items of protection. I accepted my curse. I will trust you. So, how does Mother get resurrected? For the safety of preventing a return, we were only told to never gather the pieces. Should that occur, she can somehow return. Well, the pieces are already being that. gathered. But the bow was split to only further make it that more difficult. And the lie of the five, even more so. I have an idea. 
Why didn't anyone put any of these pieces into a volcano? I cannot destroy an artifact. No, but it's damn hard to get it from the bottom of a volcano. As is protecting it. Well. The pieces are already being collected. We already know that the sword, the cloak, what we said, the dagger, uh, what was the other one that we think was, yeah, the everything armor. but the bow and the armor have been already acquired. Claimed. Yes. And it seems like someone else is going after the bow pieces. There's no strict rule that defenders may not use the items. Perhaps it is the families who still claim them. If that is so, they must be warned. From what I understand, I know at least one of them's not the defender of it. Well, two of them at least. And are Three. they aware of its significance? Yeah. Mother spoke to him. And you, you instantly see like a face of just abject shock and confusion at that statement. And... Of that, I'm gonna pull out the other bowstring. You see her almost instinctively, like, go to grab it, but almost like she f fights herself on it. But you see all the snake hair, like, instantly yeah. look towards it and hiss in reaction. This one was found on an island way out in the ocean. From a long forgotten civilization. I pull out the picture from that vault because we did cut it up and roll it up. It's been in the bag of holding for a while. This is us. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh. A fucking Volmer going all into. I was gonna keep that shit quiet. <laughs> and you do see her just kind of looking intrigued. Okay. And curious, and especially to you, Volmer, just pulls it out without like much of a notice or anything like that. But you do see her kind of like looking, kind of puzzling, and trying to think and everything. Else. We were not aware of other locations. We were to take our information to the grave. You have retrieved the two bow halves. All that remains is the bow itself. Four pieces. Four families. Do you know who these families were? I can give you names, but I do not know if they continue to claim it. Names will help. At least then we can make sure they're safe one way or another. Even if we have to take the pieces ourselves and hide them again. Because if they found you, you of all people, they're going to find them. Wait, check. Hmm. <laughs> and you do see her kind of like hesitantly puzzling as much as she possibly can almost like this is information that she really should not be sharing in the slightest but as you speak and you see her kind of like 
thinking through these things, and even she raises her hand to her chest once more where the scroll is. Once again, assembling off to that, I've made two promises. Families. Mine was the Mosley household. Long abandoned that name. The next was Eardal household. Then it was the Elderia household. Zavako. The last two, I can almost assure their names had been abandoned. Fog Shadow and Zaray. Both of them hated their family names. I uh, hate you so fucking much. <laughs> Why is your doll sticking out to me? As a player, have I fuck? Have I heard that? I don't think so. I'm ninety percent sure y'all haven't. Did it come up with any of my other characters? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm like I'm trying to think. Like, did fuck. I ever give you the oh, your doll? Volmer's mute today because he's in a hotel room with his family and he doesn't uh -huh. want to make a dumb sex joke and get in trouble. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. So you're probably going to have to type us out all. Okay, you are. You? Yep. He's here. on top of it. He saw yep. me staring at him waiting for yep. you. Nope, I, yep. Cool. Can... I misspelled your doll. Fuck me. Yeah. I, <laughs> I wrote down hers, but I want to make sure I spelled it right. Oh, right, yeah, mostly. My bad. Da 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 da. There you go. Okay. Is it rar? That's a bit more of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, he went to put a Y instead of an R. <laughs> so. Suvaco and Elderia? They've probably dropped their names, they said? Uh, no. Fog Shadows and oh. Zeray. Okay, Zeray. Those two, supposedly, are the ones that have dropped their family names. Okay. Um, do you know where these families originated from? Give me one quick second, because i got to read something real quick, because I think... Hey. This might be a thing. No, it's past month, so actually, no. Okay. Good to know. Mm hmm? Uh, but she would respond. Um, families each went their ways back to their homelands. Since then, we have lost contact. Do you know where their homelands are? Unfortunately, no. Fog Shadow is the only one that seems very evident. Which would explain why they wish to drop their family name. There's something obvious I'm not catching. Right. Gnomes? Abyssal. Abyssal? <laughs> the family had ties to darkness. Ties to darkness aren't necessarily always a bad thing. Yeah. Um. Did all of the families originate on Boris Land, at least? They originate from all around. The realms and other continents. Okay. Okay. So... Tracking down these families will be a little bit trickier than I hoped. <laughs> so, uh, using my uh, background, where would I be able to find information on ancient family names? I mean, best bet, Luma. 
If you're talking about ancient shit that probably no one has a fucking clue about, Luma's the biggest bet. Yep. That's what I thought. While we're all sitting here having chat, Ashran's gonna start making tea. <laughs> yep. Yep. So this tense conversation is kind of happening. You just kind of take out your tea set and everything. You take out your little stones and whatnot. One of my tea sets, because now I have two. Isn't one of them the poison set? No. Jack bought oh, Jack the poison has one. set. Jack has that one, okay. And then bought me a separate oh, yeah. set, and I had already had a set. So <laughs> I have I have one set that I intended to give to her anyway, and then I have a second set that Jack bought for me. Okay. <laughs> and then he has the poison set. Okay. Uh, easily enough for you to start making tea during this tense conversation and information gathering over this long long ancient relics and this mother. Yeah. Now you are making the tea. Anything else? Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This has been like Jack's like main historical <laughs> hobby. It's turned out to be just nah nah, she's kind of a crazy bitch. Um, again, these stories are romanticized. Yeah. I mean that's what happens with most things. I mean look at Brothers Grimm and Disney. God, yeah. Yeah. Um, huh. From morbid curiosity, what would happen if someone wielded all six of the items? I would not know. They would wield all pieces of mother at once. It'd be a stretch. But perhaps not so much to think. Wielding all six would give you her power as well. Or give her your body. You kind of see her like think about that and you're almost like that's a way darker path than she was thinking. Mm hmm. That is a possibility. Did not think about. God damn fool. Don't want that to happen. That sounds so dumb, Vomer. That's too much power! <laughs> Legos. Do they make the Lego sound when things break? Oh my god, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I okay, I I fucking love Lego games. Okay, like they're the they're, they're satisfying. They're so stupid, but they're great. When you're when they're like they're building and everything, they're. Yeah. It's just so satisfying. And, like things break apart. Yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. Okay. Okay. Well, we need to find these other pieces before Evil Essig. First is. Oh, oh I'm okay with Evil Essig. It makes me sound better. No, no, you're not Essig. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. We had Evil Sebo. Now we have Evil Essig. <laughs> God damn it. Um, just as long as we don't run into Evil Corvaeus or... Well, that's just Corvaeus. <laughs> yeah, okay. you're looking for good Corvaeus on this, you know. Granted, you don't yeah. want to run into Corvaeus either right now. No. Fair. Someone might lose a tooth. Or three. Or more. Yep. I'm very annoyed. I cannot find this fucking thing's map. Um, I'm not planning on doing too much exploration down here now that we found her. Yeah. I know, but it annoys me. How is she looking, by the way, physically? She seems like she was just extremely drained. When you, even when you found her, like, very gently breathing, she seemed like it was more so that her life force was gone more than she was physically hurt in any way. Okay. Yeah, probably spend the night with her, make sure she's okay, and head to Luma in the morning. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, 
Uh, towards the end of the night, I'm going to drop a couple more healing spells into her, just to make sure. Okay, just help her yeah. get back up to tip-top shape. And while enjoying yourself some tea, and you do see that when she... The entire time, she's been very stressed and anxious about everything that's been going on. But once she, like, gets a sip of the tea, you almost instantly see the snake head just look at the cup of tea with, like, this sentence of shock. And you see this almost, like, the relaxation kind of, like, overcome her in that moment. Because I do miss a fresh cup. And I will leave it here with you. I've been collecting I... tea from all over just for you. Told you I'd come back. It just happened that we came back at the right time. I do not know how long I was out. I merely know that whatever that man did was not mere magic. But she goes back to enjoying her tea. But you mean not mere magic? It felt as though he was pulling at my soul. My very essence, my existence. That's not great. Hmm. Worried about what Fenella's typing? All I'm picturing is Jack just going, Astig! And like, Skinner! <laughs> <laughs> um, huh. I'm gonna hit Detect Magic real quick while we're in here. Okay. And there is very little flickers of magic here and there, but while you're in that chamber itself, you would get a semblance of magic coming off of the final mural that shows the five pieces separated out and being handled out handed out what school of magic illusion i'm gonna go up to the mural okay <laughs> <laughs> and i'm gonna kind of run my hands across it okay is there like a point where my hand goes through no it seems like it's still just the same exact layer. Uh, Rhea, what's with this? You see her look at you confused. That is the final lie. What of it? Now, okay, you say this is an illusion. Is the whole thing an illusion? Like the the whole, whole thing is covered with an illusion. But when you place your hand there, it still feels identical the same. Can I see past Ooh. this illusion? Can I Make an investigation this? check. I was trying to remember what's the thing to look past it. <laughs> Fuck. Ten. You try looking at it as closely as possible, but you don't see anything different about it. Even though you have to detect magic, it's telling you there's an illusion there. Um. Delmar. You, you want to come here for a minute? There's an illusion on this painting. Okay. And give him assistance. Oh. Son of a bitch. Roll again. He, uh, Jack's helping you. Okay, cool. I want to avoid dispelling it just in case it's a necessity. 16. Even with a 16 and... Jock trying to like help you here and telling you there is an illusion there. There is. And you're trying to see where maybe there's like a detail. There's something different, something wrong there. Nothing you can notably see that's different. <laughs> okay, now that we're all looking at it, can I try? Yeah. And you do see that uh, You do see it that she's just kinda like looking at each of you, just like looking over this oh. mural and she's just kind of like seeing you all like crazy psychos like it is a lie I do not there is no illusion the illusion is the lie and what is the truth okay yeah Vomer as you pull out Crescent and you activate that glow of light as you raise it up in the room and it 
pierces through. You do get something different coming off of there. You almost notice that when the light itself hits the mural, no. There's almost this burning effect that goes over the mural itself. And Jack, you can sense with the tech magic, almost like that light itself is burning away the film layer of illusion. Mm. And as you guys watch, as the mural itself from wherever the center source is spread outward, and you even see that she freezes mid-sip at seeing this visage of the mural itself changing altogether. You instantly see that there is a familiar pedestal with all six objects surrounding one another in a singular circle where there seems to be a heart-shaped symbolage that's at the dead center. And it's a pedestal that everyone except for Delmar recognizes. One that was in front of the chamber all the way off in the far graves. So that's why he was there. Or one of the reasons. That's why who was there. Right. That's what is that? The way to resurrect Mother. Bring all six items oh. to that location. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, fuck. What do you mean, oh, fuck? That ancient city there was said to be, like, creating a weapon, right? Was mother It was weapon? said to be very powerful to the point that people did not like how strong it was. Huh. What if that was, like, kind of a ruse to a degree? And it was annihilated to stop that stop mother maybe that's where the bow wielder turned on mother okay okay great uh so we have this knowledge and the illusion is gone and now there's it's just out here in the open we got to get rid of this somehow She's correct. Cool. Uh, is it like a painting? Yeah, it's painted on the wall mural itself. Oh, painted on the wall itself? Yes. <laughs> Press the digitation. Let's clean it off. <laughs> I feel like that's not going to work. It cleans the surface. If it is like naturally painted like on the wall and not like magically painted, cleaning it would get rid of it. I was just gonna fucking blast the wall with magic. Paper. I've tried to do it less destructive. <laughs> and I've tried to not destroy this area. It says you can clean or sell your surface. Yeah, but the thing is, is that it's not so much. Yeah, that's a, that's a hard argument. Right? I mean, we've done it with ink and stuff like that, you know. What's yeah, the difference that, between ink yeah, and paint? Kind of thinking, yeah. Like, it's like. The surface isn't dirty. Like, that was intentional. To say that wasn't... Yeah. I mean, it's, it'd be the same thing as, like, cleaning the ink off of a page, you know, cleaning the ink off... Uh, that's what I'm saying. Scabbard. Yeah, but that's, like, intentional. Like, how, how... Yeah, yeah. Well, we intentionally put ink on his scabbard, and we cleaned it off with press digitation. Yeah, but that was, like, to make it a mess, to figure something out from it. I mean... Still. I mean, Power Washer takes paint off of a fucking concrete... I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, like, realistically... <laughs> and the answer is no. Putting Crescent away does not make the illusion go. There's there's no return of the illusion. The illusion is gone. Yep. Almost like you know why that sword was hidden away all the way over there. I mean... I, yeah, you know what? It's just such a simple definition of it will clean it. I'll say yeah. 
I'm just trying to yeah. clean, get rid of it without destroying yeah. everything. Because if we want to destroy <laughs> stuff, we can. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll get rid of that. And just the whole thing gone. There. And you do see a face of, like, distraughtness. Kind of a, like, you are literally erasing history before my eyes sort of face. Uh but it's like, yeah, that's like, it's the necessity deal. Yeah, I'm going to look at her and be like, I'm a historian. That hurt me just as much as it hurt you. My family's heritage is linked to it. But it is a just cause. It is. They would approve of this. More ways to keep it safe. Realistically, it never should have been put up in the first place, probably, but... You do see her look over to Volmer in that case, kind of like, unless it was meant for someone with a key. <laughs> None of us tried, but I suppose a simple dispel magic wouldn't have worked. On um, the illusion. Yeah, maybe. You watch her immediately go back to enjoying her tea. Any other magic in here? <laughs> nope. Okay. Right. How the fuck guys. did Essig, Evil Essig get in here, though? Because I was untouched out there. Uh huh. Does he have magical powers? We don't. Well, okay, I guess he kind of does. He. What the fuck did he know to come here? Yeah, so low body of fucking Medusa. Any thoughts, Mary? Marius? I'm... I mean... When we ran, we weren't showing all our talents. I mean, we weren't showing any of our talents. We were kind of cowards. Um... You're not wrong, guys. This... This, though... I don't know. I... I'm, I'm not capable of doing this. Okay. Was a bry? Something <laughs> has to be helping him. Something has to be helping him. Something got him out of that jail. Something helped him get in here. Motherfucker! I swear to God, if you did this, I'm gonna kill you, IRL. <laughs> What? Is it one of Abri's shadows taking over Essex's body? Either that or oh. he contacted Mother and is now a warlock. Or, yeah, one of the other people who is well, working to get Mother out is helping him. He was saying, like, he, him and the ring is the consciousness for the body. So the body would have been an empty shell in the prison, yes? It would have originally, sort of? even as they shared it himself, like, he doesn't know how his body is even active and moving. Yeah, so... Once you guys removed it, he was still... conscious. Hmm. Because when you guys handed him off to the council to be put in jail, you already had the ring off of him. I thought, I thought right. because they were within vicinity, it would have kept them tethered, but... Well, you saw him actively walk away from you. Yeah, but we didn't see if maybe he collapsed once we got out of the building type of thing, mm -hmm. you know. That's what I was thinking of range. feet, turn the corner, just, poof, just face first. I was thinking, like, once we got out of, like, 100 foot range or something like that, maybe the body just went slump. But, yeah. The fuck? Did he have a demon in him, too, like everyone else? Not a no. <laughs> Interesting. Essig, did you have a demon in you? I don't think so. He says did he I... doesn't think so. Any weird dreams? Any thing I like that? To calms. That works. You can attach him to calms, yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine, I'll, I'll attach Essig to calms. Okay. He goes by... 
I would Dalmar know this. Yeah. Morris. He goes, by Mar no. <laughs> okay. Alright. Morris. <clears throat> Did you have any, like, weird dreams or weird times where you didn't have control of your body while you are out and about before you met us? I... Okay. Me? I didn't have control of the body. I'm the consciousness. Weird dreams... It's hard to define. When we enacted our astral adventure and things went wrong, you don't come out of that normal. Hmm. When I had my astral adventure. When did that happen? Um, less than a year ago. What exactly happened? How did you get to the Astral Sea? Uh, we purchased a scroll of astral projection and to try and discover the, the energy, trying to see if we could possibly make an astral shard in concept. Something out there grabbed us. Me. Before I was this. They brought us back, but they brought us back as two. But we were still one because of the ring. Okay. So, what grabbed you? I don't know. It was big and dangerous okay like what we thought we when we were there uh, no you can tell how big that thing is what grabbed me us was bigger before I knew it I was gone Did it speak to you? I don't think I was alive long enough to know it. Um, Why would Whatever it... it was took me from my body and the only way they brought us back was pulling us back to the ring. That's why I thought when you took the ring off of me, the other me would just stop. But he didn't. Okay. Did a Brian Jen go on this astral voyage with you? No, that was before I met them. I, I met them after I was ostracized for the accident. This is okay. the accident that you're talking about. No. Correct? Well, it's linked to it. Okay, what happened with the accident? His, the, this is your family trying to make a copy, right? Somehow, to put in the ring? Uh, no. Um, m mine was trying to make an astral shard. I tried going there, trying to find out. Didn't work. They had to get me back by putting me in a ring thought that was the end of it my family we are looking in for transport new methods of transport and I wanted to see if maybe trying to use power from the astral would work for our newest prototype. It would give us the ability to go to the Astral Sea and traverse. Except I don't know if because of what I am or because it wouldn't work. It cost us the prototype. 
What happened to it? It went boom? It blew up. Okay. The energy was unstable. The moment it tried to take off. Yeah, that was not a good idea. I mean, not gonna lie, I'm familiar with unstable energy blowing up on you, so, you know, it should happen. Yeah, me too. I'm familiar with bad ideas. <laughs> um... Okay. So your family disowned you for that? Um, well, the thing is, um, who was funding us was a really, 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 really familiar name to one of you. Oh, Explain. fuck who. <laughs> You're trying to start a rebellion in his country. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> I'm not even paying attention. <laughs> God damn it, Volker! <laughs> You're supposed to have your ass, Volker. Fun. <laughs> oh. Uh, not gonna lie, I thought he was gonna say Saramir. Oh, but uh, God. holy shit! So, I kind of blew it. You know what? I'm glad you did. Yeah, so he was making a deal, f a experiment for the country you're trying to overthrow. They hired his family, who are apparently trying to develop some new form of tele or transportation, and he fucked up when he tried to make it happen. And the prototype blew up, which yep. is why his family disowned him. Because they were being funded by a really big name. Okay. First off, Maris, I apologize. Because your family are fucking idiots. We're inventors. We took a contract. No, 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 no. That, that's fine. That's fine. They're fucking idiots because they disowned you for fucking up when... They fucked up and got you essentially killed. Uh, that was my fault. That was not theirs. Just, they did, made me this. Did, did you go, hey, big giant being, come fuck me up and kill me? Maris, I'm gonna explain something to you. Your family doesn't get to disown you because of an accident. Your family doesn't get to treat you like shit. Okay? I mean... I mean, I fucked up really badly. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm getting through this. You're gonna get through this. Okay? I'm We're learning together. I'm still stuck on the fact that they essentially got you killed. Like, they're the ones who told you to go to the Astral Sea, right? With the projection thing? Uh, no, no, I, I did. I, we, we all wanted advancements. I thought of the concept, well, I didn't think the concept okay. of the Astral Shard, that's been in talk for a long time. I thought I could do it. Okay. But they were okay with that. I mean, I got scolded when they brought me back. Still. They sound like idiots. Got it. Okay. Well, we, we gotta unpack that. Uh, I... Sometime. I think we all could use a rest. And we can discuss more in the morning before we leave. Yeah. Did you guys say you wanted to swim or something? I thought you were going to do that. I'm not swimming. I very much want to fucking swim. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me wants to be a woman for a day, but, um, you know. <laughs> we need a beach episode one day. I mean, y'all have technically this, the option here, but y'all went to here instead. This is a gender swap beach episode. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I mean, technically, in all, in all sense of purposes, too, you guys don't have a genuine goal yet. You just have an idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And more information. Yeah. That is what the fuck. 
So y'all can have a gender bend beach episode. Oh my god. Oh. I wanna go. be... Can I take Frankie to swim too? Oh my god, Frankie turns into a cat. <laughs> <did you> <laughs> No, Frankie, Frankie turns into a giant Frankie. pig. That is also Frankie true. You gets hit also... with a fucking necromancy and dies. Yeah, you do know that yeah, too. Yeah, I was thinking about that too after I, I said it. Or... Oh, there's a spider close by my cat. Yeah, or he, or Frankie turns into a dumb pseudo dragon, and that's it. <laughs> I was saying, because you remember the options are: you take necromantic damage, you get some healing, you done gender swap, or you lose the ability to speak. <laughs> I need to teach him how to swim in normal water one day. Lose the go. ability to speak. I don't yeah, remember. That yep. Was yep. Mute for a good long time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. I it wasn't until that. they that he pissed off the Medusa that it was just like he was just doing hand finger puppets and everything. She's just like, fucking say something. <laughs> Which, because I, I remember when it first happened, I muted my mic and started. <laughs> Going yeah. on a fucking rant. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So during the rest, real quickly, Fen oh. and Volma apparently are jumping in. Oh god! Anybody else want a shot at this? I'm watching just because it's funny. <laughs> Fen and Volma rolling a d4. Yep. Don't you want a three? I, I think it's a three that they're no, aiming it's two. for. Yes, it's a two. I don't know what I want. <laughs> there's a chick again. Yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, Vanilla got um, a bad one. Question Ooh. though, question. Which that is was hotter, a bad guy home here, girl oh. home here? <laughs> hey, friend, you take forty-two points of necrotic damage. That was a bad one. Dang. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Bro. Ooh. And I would say Volmer and Volmera probably about the same. All happens is the chest goes up. <laughs> the chest goes up and the hair just gets a little longer. <laughs> a little glossier. Yeah. Question. Mm -hmm. Can I get out and get back in and just you have can. fun try to see what happens? You can. As you watch Volmer do the exact same thing as Volmer instantly gets in, turns into Volmera and goes like, Cool! Jumps in, turns back to Volmer. Oh no. <laughs> Fanoa's fucking... Fanoa, instead of it sticking out so far, now the chest is just wide as hell. All that muscle. <laughs> you I have like a dick again? <laughs> yes. You have your dick again. That is a good question, Fen. Are you just going in with water or, or in with clothes or nah? I imagine she just like kinda got down to underwear like what Ash did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That would be the most awkward and terrifying feeling of it just out and in. Out and in. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna do it again. <laughs> on that note, I do need to get going. Yes, on that Hi. note of Fen enjoying herself. In a very unique way of bouncing between genders and whatnot. Oh, oh my god. You we'll know, like, when dolphins, this. like, jump over the water? I imagine she's just. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. For the same reason, Dalmar is considering trying again. But... Oh, that's right. Dalmar constantly kept trying and never got the two. Yeah. To try to escape his past, he, he definitely made the attempt. Yeah, I remember that now. I mean, you can try again mm. now. <laughs> Do it. Not sure Delmar wants to. Mm -hmm. Delmar has one week to decide. <laughs> As he